Hi, it's Emma Nago. So today I'm doing this makeup look. It's the full face of first impressions. And let me just say I love so many products that I tried today. There were no products that were absolute misses. Everything was either good or great. So I will let you guys watch the video and see what products I'm using. But first I want to mention that the claws are gone, at least for now. Um, I'm just wearing, wearing my natural nails for a bit. I just got fed up with the fake nails. So I'm trying to embrace my natural nails. Also, I looked up how much a pedicure costs. Because now that we are heading into spring and summer time, I thought that might be nice. I could then do my hands, you know, my manicure myself and then I could get pedicures. But a pedicure is like a hundred dollars. I don't understand why it's that expensive. Like a hundred dollars? What? I did see some like quick pedicures that were like 50, 60 dollars. Um, so I might try that. But that was without any nail polish or anything. So I don't know. I might just do my pedicures myself as well. That's what I usually do. I just thought I would, you know, treat myself or whatever. But that might be treating myself a little too much. Like that is a little too expensive. But anyways, let me stop myself before I ramble on. So yeah, if you like this makeup look, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and watch in high definition. And without further ado, here comes the tutorial. So I was wearing this choker and I sneezed and it popped right off. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. So I'm going to do my eyes first today, but I want to lay down my primer before anything else. So this is the Master Prime Hydrating Primer by Maybelline. So I saw Emily Noel use this and she really liked it. Um, and I do like a good hydrating primer if I'm wearing a very matte foundation. It feels really good on the skin. It's really, it's quite thick. I really like that. So I'm going to zoom you in. So I'm going to do my brows first. So I'm using this Colourpop brow color in the color Dope Taupe. It looks like so. And for the inner part of my brows, I'm going to use this Colourpop brow pencil in the color Blondie. So it's just a bit lighter. So I have been kind of off the whole brow pomade trend. But you guys know I like to switch it up. So I ordered these two brow products from Colourpop to try them out. By the way, the lighting is kind of bright today because there is so much natural daylight. Recently we turned the clock forward one hour, so that's why it's so bright. I don't know if it's me or that brow pomade, but I feel like it was kind of hard to control. I feel like my brows look a whole mess right now, but it's probably fine. I'm going to clean them up with concealer and that usually fixes the problem. So I'm going to use this NARS um, Creamy Radiant Concealer in the color Vanilla. Sorry, it's called Radiant Creamy Concealer. And it looks like this. And I'm going to use this to clean up my brows because they're looking a hot fucking mess right now. And I'm going to blend it out with my W7 sponge. I know a lot of beauty gurus say that they can't, <coughs> excuse me, do the eyebrows and talk at the same time. And I mean, it's it's really true. I can't do that either. Like, ugh, it's so hard. Okay, so those are the brows. I feel like I have to be fair to the Colourpop brow products um, because I feel like I didn't do the best job today. I feel like it's just a bad eyebrow day for me right now. So anyways, let's move on. I'm going to use this I Got The Power um, eyeshadow primer by W7. This is the color Wicked. And I'm going to apply this on the eyelids. And as you can see, it does have a color. I think this primer is supposed to be a dupe for um, one of the Urban Decay primers. I don't know which one, I only have the original one. But I think it's supposed to be a dupe for one of the colored ones. But anyways, I just put on some tape and now we can do some eyeshadow. So first of all, I'm going to use this waterproof eyeshadow stick 
by New York Color. This is in the color Brooklyn, Brooklyn Mocha. And I'm going to paint this on the mobile lid. So I have a bunch of palettes here that I was thinking about using. So I have the Eye Cushions palette by W7 in the color Starlight. I have this Makeup Revolution Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade, which is of course a dupe for the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I also have this Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Au Naturel in Bare Necessities. Then I have this Rimmel Magnifies Eyeshadow Palette in the color Grunge Glamour. And finally I have the Essence Eye and Face Palette in the color Rise and Shine. And by the way, I also wanted to try the Fancy Kilowatt Highlight on my eyelid today. So this one is in the color Hustler Baby. So I think I might use this one as a transitioning color. So I'm using the little brush that comes with the palette. And this color is more pigmented than it looked when I swatched it. But it's fine, it's not too dark to where I can't use it as a transitioning color. And this was just one dip into the eyeshadow, super pigmented. And I feel like it blends really well. And I think I want to go for a more warm toned look today. I know the base color on the eyelid is kind of more cool toned, but I am going to cover that up. I also really like this blending brush. It's a really nice size. It's not too big and fluffy. So I think I'm going... Whoa. <laughs> I think I'm going to take this color for my brow bone highlight. This is from the W7 Eye Cushions palette. And I don't know if you guys can sense the texture through the camera, but it's like a... It's a cushion, you know, it's like a little, it's like play-doh. <laughs> so it feels like some kind of hybrid between a cream and a powder. It's a little bit glittery, at least for my liking. It has like little chunks of glitter in it. But I mean, the pigmentation is there. It's a nice pigmented color. I'm just not loving the glitter. By the way, if my voice is kind of off, uh, my voice has been kind of under the weather. I haven't been sick, but my voice has just been really weird and my throat has been hurting. I just really want to make sure I get this in a corner. So I feel like these two palettes are very cool toned and actually they're also very similar. So I don't think I'm going to use any shadows from these palettes. Instead, I'm going to use this color from the Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm just going to use the same blending brush, also from the palette. Oh, it's so goddamn pigmented. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to try and blend this into the crease. But since there is so much pigment, it's literally going everywhere. I don't want to bring it up too high because I still want this transitioning color to be present. This is such a good palette. I'm like shook. So I'm going to take Fancy Beauty's Hustler Baby and I'm going to pat this on the lid. That is a gorgeous color. I'm like packing this on for my dear life. I'm loving this color. So I'm going to try out the black now from this palette. And I'm going to add that in the outer corner. And I'm going to try and blend it out with the little brush. I feel like it's difficult to blend. It's definitely not blending as smoothly as I would like. Now I'm just using the bit of the, a bit of the crease color to blend the black into the highlight on the lid. Okay, so I'm going to do this eye and then I'm going to do another shadow. Okay, so now I'm taking the black from the Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm going to add a bit of that out here. Just to deepen the look even further. I feel like that W7 Cushions palette would be great on the eyelid. Like a nice pop on the lid. But I don't know what I think about it 
as regular eyeshadows that you use, you know, all over in the crease, on the brow bone, wherever. So I'm just applying a bit more Hustler Baby. And now I'm going to do my liquid liner with the Tattoo Eyeliner by Kat Von D in the color Trooper. So I'm just doing a cat eye. I don't really know what I think about this eyeliner. I feel like it's very easy to use. But it's also, as you can probably see over here, compared to over here, it takes some layers for it to show up completely black on top of my very shimmery eyeshadow and it also isn't it isn't working perfectly for me in the very inner corner i applied it over here in the very inner corner and it immediately bled even though this is supposed to be waterproof so i don't know it's not bad it's just not as good as I was expecting but I did have crazy high expectations for it because it seems to be everyone's favorite liquid liner. One thing I will say about this eyeliner however is that I like I can just keep going over my lines without it kind of building up. Sometimes that happens and that's so annoying but this one it applies super smoothly on top of itself. So anyways let's take off the tape. There is quite a lot of fallout, but I take full responsibility for that because when I'm not wearing my face makeup, I just pack on the eyeshadow and I don't worry about the fallout. If I was wearing my foundation, I would be a lot more careful when I apply when I apply my eyeshadows. So I'm going to reapply the primer right here where I removed the fallout. So I'm really excited about today's foundation. This is the Maybelline Dream Mad Mousse in the color Ivory. So technically this is not a first impressions because I did use this foundation probably like eight years ago. But since it has been that long since I used it, I thought shit, I can use it in a first impressions video. So that is what I'm going to do today. I hope it's not too dark because I am very pale but Hopefully it works. So I'm going to... Oh, it's a bit dark. Mm. Right, anyways, I'm going to continue and apply this all over my face. So I'm going to blend it out with a brush. And that was why I used the Maybelline Hydrating Primer, because this is a matte foundation. And I'm oily, but I can get kind of like a cakey and dry look if I apply too many mattifying or matte products on my face. So I hope by combining the two, they're going to kind of even themselves out and it's going to hopefully look good. <laughs> so far I really like how this is looking. It's a tiny bit too dark, but it actually, it looks darker in the pot. I feel like when I blend it out, it goes a bit lighter and it's blending out really well. It looks really good. No streaks are cakiness. It's also not emphasizing any pores. So far this is really good. I'm just going to blend it down the neck. So, so far this is a good foundation for me. I'm definitely glad I used that hydrating primer underneath because I feel like it would have been very, like very matte if I haven't used the hydrating primer. But for as matte of a foundation as it is. I feel like the foundation comes off pretty easily. I accidentally just like tapped my nose and the foundation came off. So so I'm definitely going to set the foundation. But um, first I'm going to apply my concealer. And of oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a corrector I need to try first. Let me just remove that concealer. I was actually going to do this before the foundation, but I forgot, so we're doing it now. This is the W, not the W7. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector for dark circles. It's in the color Peach. So this is what 
the product looks like. It's nice and light. Um, it's definitely not a, you know, a deep peach by any means. So I'm using a small amount on my W7 sponge. And I'm just blending that softly underneath the eyes. So it's very thin and liquidy and it's very light. I feel like even for my skin tone, it's verging on being too light. I do like that it's very liquidy because I feel like that's going to mean it's not so heavy so that um, you know you can apply your regular concealer on top with no problems. So yeah, now we can apply the actual concealer and I'm going to try and highlight with this. I don't know how that is going to work out because the foundation is so matte. But now we will see. Okay, that actually works well. It blends beautifully on top of the foundation. The only problem is that this concealer is almost exactly the same color as my foundation. So it doesn't do that much brightening. But I mean, it's fine. This concealer does add um, some more coverage. I do find the name kind of interesting because I wouldn't call this concealer radiant. To me, it's more like a matte concealer, but I don't know, that might just be me. Also, I desperately need to try the Tarte Shape Tape. I still haven't tried it because it's not available in Denmark. It's really hard to get a hold of the Tarte concealer if you're not, you know, American. I can't find it on any European web shops. It's not in Sephora. It's it's just really hard to get my hands on. So far I'm really liking this concealer by NARS. It's looking really good underneath my eyes. It's almost setting itself. It's almost not um, creasing at all on me. So I'm going to apply the... <laughs> hmm? I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder all over my face. So I'm going to set underneath the eyes. This powder is super fine. It's like undetectable. So now I'm just applying this all over to set the rest of the face. One thing I do not like about this powder is the size. Of course I do have a sample or a mini size. It only gets out a small amount of product. So I have to do this so many times. Looking at my skin up close, I feel like this powder definitely kind of blurred out my texture. My nose looks absolutely pore-free. The lines underneath my eyes also look like really soft. It actually looks really good. So for my bronzer, I'm going to use this Master Bronze Palette by Maybelline. So I think I might use this one to bronze up my face. So let's see how that looks. So I feel like this looks pretty good actually. Also it seems to be blending out just fine on top of my base. And today I'm bringing the contour, I mean the bronzer, up here. So it connects with the bronzer on the temple. I'm also doing the jawline. Just very softly. I'm also going to do the nose contour now and I think I might just take a little bit of this color and apply a little bit at the back part of my cheekbone and of course go ahead and blend it out with the powder brush you used. I'm also just going to do a little bronzer underneath the lip to make it look a bit more pouty and of course blend that out as well. So before I forget I'm going to do some lip balm. I'm going to use the Winky Lux um, Flower Balm in the color pink. So it looks like this and it's just like a clear balm with a little flower. So I'm really scared to like <laughs> ruin it. So let me be careful. Oh it has color. Look at that. So pretty. That's so crazy. It looks so clear. At least to me but it applies pink on the lips. Okay, so moving on to blush. I'm going to use the blush from the Iron Face palette by Essence. So it's this one right here. It's a nice like 
peachy color with a little bit of shimmer and please don't mind the pink lips with this blush I'm not going to wear a pink lip this blush is really pretty and really easy to use not too pigmented and not hard to blend so before we move on to the eyes I'm going to use my setting spray by Colourpop this is called the Adventurin Aventurine, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a crystal setting spray, and I believe this is supposed to be a mattifying setting spray. That is gorgeous. It's a glass bottle, and the liquid is green. It's just so cute. So it says to shake it up and spray. Oh my god. It's just like, like projected in my face like oh my god I do not like this sprayer I'm going to hold it really far away oh my god hmm why did they make the sprayer like that that's an awful sprayer I do not like it at all oh I'm very upset <laughs> so I'm going to let this dry and see if I have any splotchiness Oh, I really hope I don't, but who knows, with that kind of sprayer, the danger is real. Okay, so no splotchiness, at least not what I can see. So I will probably use this um, setting spray again, but damn, you have to be aware of that. That sprayer is no joke. So since this lip balm is pink, I'm just going to remove it and apply regular clear lip balm. And I'm going to zoom you guys in and we are going to finish off the eyes. So first of all, I'm going to set my eyebrows. I have the Anastasia um, Clear Brow Gel. And this is supposed to be one of the best brow gels ever. And by the way, the reason why I didn't use this when I was doing my brows is because I applied all that powder that got into my brows. This brow gel is really like thin. It's very liquidy compared to like my Essence or my Elf or my Technique brow gels. I'm not too picky with my brow gels because I don't have too unruly brows. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back to this and this color and maybe a little bit of the black. Beautiful pigmentation on the, these eyeshadows from Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to blow out this color with some of that like peachy color I used as a transitioning color. So now for my inner corner, I'm going to apply this Makeup Revolution Foil Eyeshadow. This one is in the color Rose Gold. I cannot open it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to try and apply this around the tear duct. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. And for my mascara today, I'm going to apply the W7 Absolutely Waterproof Mascara. And this is the waterproof version of the Absolute Lashes, I believe it's called. It's a dupe for the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I don't know about this mascara, I feel like it's not doing much for my lashes. What I will say about this mascara, however, is that it does not clump up at all. It keeps the lashes really nice and feathery. So now I'm going to take my liquid liner and just coat the very base of my lashes and let me just do this without talking because if I talk I'll fuck up this just makes the base of my lashes look darker and this is especially good if you have light lashes or if you have a light eyeshadow that has fallen down onto your lashes I have both so for false lashes today I'm going to use the house of lashes iconic light Okay, so lashes are on, 
these are gorgeous so I'm going to go over the last band with my liner it's not really that necessary because the glue is black but it's just that extra little finishing touch so I'm also going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes So finally for the eyes, I'm going to apply a pop of color on my waterline. I'm going to use this eyeliner by Colourpop in the color Teaspoon. Ooh, it's a little bit hard. It's not as creamy as I was hoping. Okay, so I know I complained a bit about the eyeliner being a bit hard. But, I mean, I can't complain about this pigmentation. That's amazing. It looks incredible. So now let's finish off with the lips. So I'm going to do a simple nude lip with a nude lip liner, nude lipstick and nude lip gloss. So I'm going to start out with this Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner. This is in the color Nude Painting. Okay, so it's somewhat going on lighter than it looks like um, on the pencil. It looks darker, but it's going on pretty light. So my lipstick today is Nikki's Nude by MAC. I have never tried this. I've had it for 3 million years and I have not tried it yet. So hopefully it's not too dark with this light lip liner. It's a lot more peachy than the lip liner. It's a beautiful color. To top off my nude lip, I'm going to use Gloss Balm by Fancy Beauty. Oh, oh, honey. Oh, that's gorgeous. That gloss is bomb. So I'm just going to do the Q-tip trick. So here we have the finished look and I really love it. There were so many great products today in this first impression. I love the skin, I love the lips, I love the eyes. I don't think there was anything today that I did not like. I'm just really obsessed with this look and I mean I must give it to that Colourpop eyeliner. It looks amazing, it blew my mind with the pigmentation and so far also the staying power. So yeah, I just really love this look. And by the way, I had to um, loosen my necklace because it popped off again. And I don't want it popping off again, again, again. So um, I loosened it, so hopefully now it will just it's Stay there. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.